welcome to another episode of Unboxing the Present. This is episode six, I believe. I am your ho ho host. Wait, ho 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 host. No, ho ho host works. I'm your ho ho host, Evan Kessler. And, uh, you know, in this house, in this studio apartment, <laughs> it's a studio apartment, uh, we celebrate Hanukkah. I mean, we, 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 acknowledge Christmas, we like Christmas, this isn't a war on Christmas, but we, uh, me, we, me, are Jewish, uh, and, you know, it's the third night of Hanukkah tonight, have not lit the candles yet, um, but, you know, it's time to open a Hanukkah present. I, I opened a Christmas present, uh, in the last edition, it's time, uh, we were culturally honest and say, hey, I'm uh, culturally Jewish, uh, not a very religious person, but still, uh, you know, my religion wouldn't let me wear this hat. You know, if I was very religious, I'd be wearing a, a, a yarmulke. Yeah, I said yarmulke, yarmulke. Uh, but I'm not wearing a yarmulke. I'm wearing a Santa hat and everyone's gonna have to deal with it, okay? Um, third night of Hanukkah, Hanukkah present, unboxing this Hanukkah present. Now look, I, I'm gonna move this. Uh, uh, I get, this is not a box, okay? It's a envelope, it's a package. It's sort of padded from the United States Postal Service. Um, and there's something in this, uh, but it feels like a box in there. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to undo a box or to reveal what it is, or if it's just gonna be out in the open. So, I know I know who it's from, it's from my brother. Uh, he checked in with me yesterday to see if I got it. I did not think I had got, I, I didn't think I had received it, but I, I, I just walked by my mailbox and the package wasn't out. So usually when they're packages, they're, they're out in the open, they're out above the thing. It's like, oh, they can't fit in the mailbox. But apparently this one fit in the mailbox, so I just assumed I didn't receive it yet. And um, yeah, I mean, what a story for you to hear. What a, what a saga about me getting a package in the mail. A flat rate envelope, one rate, any weight. U.S. Postal Service. Use the U.S. Postal Service, you know? That's what I'm saying. It's uh, your tax dollars at work. I don't know. I don't necessarily. There's a postmaster general. That's part of the. Uh, that's socialized. Uh, that's socialism, right? The U.S. Postal Service, uh, probably to some extent. Uh, I'm sure it is. Uh, anyway, uh, here we go. You know, let's let's open this priority mail package that I am receiving on. The third night of Hanukkah. Again, third night of Hanukkah, a lot of people uh, get it wrong. They, they think you're supposed to put the candles from left to right. Now, right now it looks like they're left to right from your angle, but from my angle, I put them right to left and then I light them right to left because that's how you read Hebrew. Everything is right to left. Um, anyway, just a little lesson for you on Judaism. I don't even know if I'm right, but um, it feels right, so I'm gonna go with it. Mm. Let's see. All right, we're ready. We're ready. Enough of the, the preamble. Let's, let's rip this, this bag open. Okay, I was right. There's a box. It says Atlas Coffee Club. Now, it says at, atlascoffeeclub.com. I don't know what that is, but that also does not mean that is what's in the box. I think, uh, I think my family, we like to do, we like to repurpose things. Uh, not that we're frugal, I think we're just, we're just sensible, really. We, uh, you know, we, we, you hold on to a box, maybe you could use the box later. Uh, so this is probably not from atlascoffeeclub.com. Uh, I'm not a big coffee person, I'll be honest with you. I, I like the occasional cup, um, but, Anyway, I'm pretty sure this isn't coffee. Um, are you guys ready? Are you ready for the reveal? Ooh, not, it's, it says Atlas Coffee Club. I feel like I'm doing an advertisement for Atlas Coffee Club, but 
I'm not getting anything from Atlas Coffee Club, so uh, they're not sponsoring me, and I'm not, I know whatever's in here is probably not going to be from Atlas Coffee Club. But the amount of times I've said Atlas Coffee Club, they should be, I don't even know if they do good things, if they, if they have good coffee, I'm just repeating their name over and over again, uh, only to reveal a product that is most likely not their product. So, all right, but we're ready for the reveal. Let's, let's get to it. Oh, oh wait, there's a note that says, Evan, that's my name. Um, happy Hanukkah, Evan. And then it has my brother's name. It's great, okay, it's fine. Uh, okay, first, you know, you get good wrapping. He's got a little, it's, it's uh, some interesting paper here. It's, it's not your, your, your run of the mill flat uh, tissue paper, like, it's, it's sort of, you know, ridged and ribbed and, and serrated, and I don't know how to say it. Uh, I don't know what the, the proper term for this, but it's, it's sort of ornate. So we got that. That's done. You know, I like a good, I like a good, some popping bubbles, but sort of this, um, this package is, I think it's got some popping bubbles built in. It's not working right now. I think, oh, there you go. Okay, popped a couple of it, a couple of them, and then uh, you know some more wrapping. A uh, it's a bottle of some sort, uh, and some black tissue paper around it. Oh, one one piece of tape unmasked. Two pieces of tape. Unfurling the paper like a glorious flag and uh bam here we are this is ahi peach hot sauce from well it's it's springs fireplace ahi peach hot sauce which is a, a product of uh, uh a company called uh, the Hoppy Acre, which is actually my brother's uh, farm that he has in Amagansett, New York. And uh, they make a series of hot sauces. Um, I don't know, you know, if they have a website. If they have a website, I will put it here. But I know you can find them on Instagram at the Hoppy Acre. Oh no, they have a website. It's www thehoppyacre.com and then you can find them at, at the Hoppy Acre on Instagram. Um, I don't know if you can buy the products there, but um, Ahi Peach Hot Sauce. I A J I is that Ahi Peach? Or is that yeah that's probably what it is, right? The J is an H sound. Um, I don't know, it could be Aji. But anyway, some peach hot sauce. Uh, that he makes at his, his little farm, um, Springs Fireplace. All right, should I, should I get a, get a little taste prior, prior to signing off? You know, I might as well, you know, I could do another episode that's just me tasting things, but that wouldn't be an unboxing video. That would be a, another genre. It would just be Evan tastes things, which I'd be willing to do if you, want to see that uh, that's another avenue it's a spin-off we can have um, but for now I'll just you know I, I haven't like washed well no my hands aren't dirty but I'm just gonna take a bit of the cap here so I don't want to stick my finger all the way in there but oh that's good Ooh, little little kick to it after that oh peachy spicy Pretty good, pretty delicious, and I, 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 I can't wait to put this on a bunch of things. Uh, they say it says here we like it on tacos, burgers, and veggie melts. Um, uh, unlike, okay, let me read before I sign off. I want to read their little. 
Unlike overly sweet hot sauces, our ahi peach combines a subtle aroma and light flavor of peach with the citrus taste of ahi limon and the balanced heat of the Aleppo pepper. We like it on tacos, burgers, and veggie melts. Springs Fireplace peppers and produce are grown on the east end of Long Island, New York. We are in the, pro we are in the process of being certified organic. I feel like I've read too much, like that last sentence didn't really need to be read, but um, anyway, Ahi Peach from the Hoppy Acre. Uh, it's got a little batch number, batch number 101818. And uh, got a new hot sauce, so uh, happy Hanukkah to me. Um, on the third day of Hanukkah, my brother gave to me the Ahi Peach hot sauce that he makes. Ho, ho, ho. Happy Hanukkah. I've been your host, Evan Kessler. See you in the new year.